Hey guys, it's Christy. I've got another haul video for you today, and this one is kind of a big one, so I'm going to get right into it. This is actually two different orders here. Well, actually three. Um, so I'm going to start with the Mama Elephant. Um, as you know, they just had their release um, on the 15th. And so I picked up a couple things from that. The first thing was this Just Hatch set. This is so darling. I fell in love with it the minute I saw it. Um, you get some really cute images. You get this little owl. There's a little dinosaur and a bird and a chick. You get two styles of eggs, some grass, some little broken chips from the egg. Um, you get a speech bubble and then another one that says hello and then you get a whole bunch of sentiments. Hoot. You're a good egg, bundle of joy, sweet new baby, wee little one, tweet, you crack me up, peekaboo, feed me, chirp, mama, dada, and then this great scripty welcome and love you. So this is really awesome. Um, I did think that I ordered the dyes to match this. I was sure that I did. Um, I stayed up till midnight to, you know, place my order right as soon as it was available. And unfortunately, I was also trying to get a pie baked at the same time for pie day. It was pie day, and my son had asked me to bake a pie, and I forgot. And so I was trying to pull a pie out of the oven. And basically, the moral of the story is don't bake pies when there's a new release, because you might miss something in your order. Um, so when that arrived, the dyes weren't with it. And when I went back and checked my slip, I somehow didn't get them. I don't know. I thought I put them in my shopping cart, but I must not have. So anyway, I don't have the matching dies, but I do plan to pick those up because they will make it so much easier. Okay, moving on. I also got from the new release the Everyday Greetings. This is a great sentiment set. This has um, this great um, handwritten font mixed with a typewriter font. You get two little heart bubbles. Spreading a little love, it's all good, smile, hello, faith, hope, and mad love, whatever you do, do it good, wonderful in every way, and though she be little, she is fierce, enjoy the small moments, best wishes from all of us, and live every moment, love every day, love beyond words. So that's a really great set that I was really eager to pick up. Um, this set is not from the new release. This is the Water Bloom set. I had had this on my wish list forever, and for whatever reasons, I just kept putting it off. And um, since I needed um, one extra thing to, you know, qualify for sh free shipping and stuff, I went ahead and threw that into my cart. If I had realized I didn't have the Just Hatch dies, I probably would have got those instead, but I'm really happy that I finally was able to pick up this set. You get a lot of great silhouette um, florals, and then you get congratulations on your special day. Thanks ever so much, and hello, I miss your face. I just love the sentiments that Mama Elephant comes up with. I think they're so clever. All right, also for the new release, I picked up the Pandemonium and the Honey Buddy um, creative cuts. These are the dies that match those stamp sets which I already have. So I was really excited to be able to pick those up. You guys know how I hate fussy cutting. So <laughs> anytime I can get dies, it's like, yes, please. <laughs> also, I picked up the Wink of Stella brush in clear. Mama Elephant is now carrying this and I do already have one. But I got this like right when they first came out on the market and it was before um, some people like Christina Warner and Jennifer McGuire started filming videos about the correct way to open it. And I did not do the black ring correctly, however that was. So I sometimes get a lot of goop even though I've used it quite a lot. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's not very much left in this one, which is another reason I picked it up. But I, um, I think because I didn't open it correctly, I get a lot of goop sometimes. That's kind of the silvery or platinum color um, when it should be clear. And it kind, it kind of, um, especially if you colored something light, it doesn't look very nice. So since it's almost empty, I decided I'll just save that one for like the darker colored. And then I have the new one that I can use as soon as that one runs out. So moving on, I got 
The next order is from Butterfly Reflections, Inc. That's my friend Vanessa Middleton's shop. I got quite a lot from her. Um, this is just part of it. I'll show you the last thing at the end. Um, so first of all, from Ranger, I wanted to pick up this Distress Marker Spritzer. I'm sure you guys have seen this um, on like the CHA videos. It's a really cool thing. You insert your marker um, in this little barrel, and then you squeeze it, and you get kind of like um, uh, an airbrushing technique. Maybe not quite as fine as an airbrushing technique, but it's uh, like a misted color. Um, I am very sad to hear that it does not hold the Spectrum Noir Next Generation markers. Um, at least my friend Laurel Beard said that she tried it and it did not. Um, but I can still use it with my Distress markers and any other markers. It's supposed to fit most markers that are on the market. So I'm really anxious to try that out and I'll definitely be showing that in a video soon. Alright, also from Ranger I picked up the new mini ink blending tools. These are the round style. You get two tools in a package and four foams, which I think is really great of them. Um, I am not a big fan of distress inking, and let me rephrase, I am a fan of the look of distress inking. I am not a fan of actual me distress inking because I can never seem to avoid that first splotch of color and I know you're supposed to start off the, the image you know or off your panel you know start on your sheet I do it I swear I do it and it just I don't know I still end up with splotches so I've heard that maybe the round tool might be better for that because you don't get the the corners of the square or rectangular foam so I'm really anxious to try this out and see if this helps me improve my distress inking skills. If not, I might switch to trying the finger daubers. I've never tried those, the little ones that go on your finger and have the little sponge tip. Um, I know Kelly Marie Alvarez of Lawn Fawn really likes those because you get a lot of control. So I might try those if these don't work for me, but I thought I'd at least give them a try. It seems like because they're round shaped, I might get a better result. So anyway. With that, I also picked up a pack of the Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Cardstock. I've heard really good things about it. So far, I've only used Canson 120-pound, and I still do get like a lot of warping. Like here's a panel um, that I did with my Twinkling H2Os, and you can see that it's definitely warped. And I actually even had this under some heavy stuff, and then it flattened out, and then I took it out, and it warped right back up again. So I'm really anxious to try this out. I've heard good things and I know it has, even says, it has the double-sided smooth and textured surface so you can use either side. And it comes with 12, 20 sheets and those are a regular card size. They're four and a half, or four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'll be using those in a video sometime soon as well, I'm sure. So the last stuff besides the final thing um, is from Lawn Fawn. I picked up the Hashtag Awesome stamp set. Super cute. You get this little Instagram photo uh, frame. You get the little Twitter bird. Um, you get a thumbs up, the Instagram icon, and then you get a bunch of sentiments that you can use with the hashtag. You can get happy birthday, love, awesome, lol, friends, thank you, I heart you, I like you. This one is not together. It's not run together like that. It's just separate. I like you. I'll follow you anytime, which is super cute. You get a Polaroid and the two hearts and then a really cute little smiley face right there. And um, I just recently started using Instagram. I'm a very late comer to the Instagram scene, so I thought this would be fun. I think it's really a great resource for crafters and just anybody who likes to share photos and keep people updated. By the way, I'm Christy Gets Crafty if you want to follow me. So um, just like my YouTube channel and my blog and my Facebook page. And then I also got the matching dies to go with that. Then I picked up the Wish You Were Here stamp set. This one has the Map of America and the Globe, which I really love. You get the little direction symbol here. You get a couple of arrows and a flag, a little X and a little heart. So you can like mark the places on your map. You get a um, like a stitch line so you can draw 
like from here to here or wherever you want to do it. And then you get the sentiments, missing you, you mean the world to me, and wish you were here. So really love that set. And I also picked up the matching dies. I got the scripty hello die from Lawn Fawn. I just really like the size and thought it makes a great um, focal piece of a, on a card. I usually um, try to, I, I keep my sentiments more of an afterthought, not purposely, but usually I just really concentrate on the images and I'm trying to shift a little bit more towards thinking out the sentiment placement and stuff like that and I don't have any um, word dies. I do have the Quinn's ABCs, but I don't have any actual words. Well, strike that. I do have the um, Faith, Hope, and Love from W Plus 9, but it's more of like a Christmas set. I mean, I guess you could use it for every day, but I think it's technically a Christmas set. Um, but other than that, that's the only word die that I have, so I was glad to pick that up. And then I got the Spring Showers die. You get this great sun and a couple of clouds and the raindrops. And what I really love about this set and some of the new Lawn Fawn sets and some of the new Mama Elephant sets is that they're using this stitching line in their dies. I absolutely love it. I think it's so adorable. It adds such a little bit of whimsy to your projects. I just think it's it's really really an awesome trend and I hope they keep doing it because I just love the look of it. So lastly from Lawn Fawn I picked up the Hippo Birdie to You stamp and die set and if you remember my previous Lawn Fawn haul video you know that I already purchased this and that is because I wanted to get an extra set for a giveaway um, I know I just did a little giveaway not that long ago with some pretty pink posh sequins, but, um, you know, I love doing this stuff for you guys, and, um, I, I appreciate you all so much. I, I can't even tell you. I know I went on and on in the last one, um, about how much all your comments mean to me, but it's the truth. It really, um makes my day when I come home and see a really sweet comment from somebody or that I had a bunch of new thumbs up or a couple new subscribers. So anyway, I'm going to give away this stamp and die set to one random commenter. Um, and I will post that, let's say, um, today is Thursday. Um, last time I had it on a Sunday and that ended up being difficult because I work on Sundays <laughs> and I almost forgot. So let's say Monday. We'll say on Monday I will announce the winner on my Facebook page which is Christy Gets Crafty. So make sure you're following me over there so you see the announcement. And I'll just pick one random commenter from this video post. So just leave me a comment right here on this video. And um, one of you will get the stamp and die set. So good luck to all of you for that. All right, last bunch of stuff from Butterfly Reflections is the Avery L stamp and die storage pockets. I have finally um, decided to switch over to the Jennifer McGuire system of stamp storage. I have been using two clip it ups for um, the entire time that I've been a crafter, which is about four years, I would say. Um, and I love them. I did not want to get rid of them. <laughs> but my stamp collection has grown to the size that I would need to get a third one. And they're really hard to get right now because the owner of Simply Renee, who makes the clip it up, um, I guess she was having some health difficulties and she decided to discontinue her company and discontinue manufacturing the clip it ups. So they're really hard to get a hold of. Um, so the reason I was so hesitant about this new system is that I really love my packaging. I love my stamp packaging. I keep all my stamps in their original packaging and I didn't want to give that up with this system you have to that it doesn't fit so I mean I guess you could cut it down but it wouldn't be a good fit and I don't really like the look of that so I am gonna switch over to that system if you guys have seen it if not check out her video it's on her YouTube channel Jennifer McGuire Inc 
And um, anyway, I will be selling my Clip It Ups if anyone is interested. You can just send me a private message here on Facebook. I paid, they're like something like $75 a piece and I actually have two of them. Plus on one of them I have the upper tier extension. Um, they hold a lot of stamps. It's just because I'm on, you know, the landscaping design team and the crafters companion design team. And, you know, I have a lot of stamps now. <laughs> and it's just getting to be too much for them. If you're interested, I'd like to sell them for like maybe a hundred bucks for all three. The two clip it ups and the top tier extension, which would include shipping. The shipping would probably be kind of high. That's why I also kind of picked a hundred dollars. So um, if you're interested in those, let me know. I've got pictures of them and I can give you more details. Just send me a private message. Um, that would be only shipping in the United States. I'm sorry, but the package would be very large and heavy. So, um, I mean, if you are international and you'd be willing to pay that shipping, please, by all means, go ahead and private message me, but I would have to charge you the full shipping cost. So, um, but yeah, if anyone is interested in those clip it ups, they are in perfect working order and I've got tons and tons of the little clips and, um, I'm really sad to get rid of them, but I think this will be good for me and will work better for the high volume of stamps that I have now in my collection. So anyway, last thing that I ordered is from Amazon and that goes with the stamp pockets and that is the fridge bins. It won't even fit on my camera because it's so large. Um, but it is 12 across by 14 and a half long by four inches tall. So it fits very well. The two, um, you can get two, um, lines, <laughs> two, uh, sections, I should say, of, uh, stamps going this way. And I also picked up the Brother P-Touch Labeler. I did not have a label maker, so I hope it's easy to use because I've never used one. Um, but anyway, I picked that up. It was fairly inexpensive from Amazon, so sometime in the next few days or weeks, I shall be converting all my stamps to this system. If anybody has done it and has any tips for me, I would love to hear them, how you organized or um, anything at all like that. Um, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to um, leave me a comment to be entered to win the Hippo stamp set. This is actually called Year 4 um, stamp and die set from Lawn Fawn. And also please don't forget to check out my Facebook page on Monday for the winner. That's Christy Gets Crafty. So anyway, this has been really long, but I hope you guys really enjoyed everything. And Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.